Hey, I'm Peter and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've received a package with a new soldering station and some other stuff. Let's open it. Here we got the soda station. Let's look at uh, the other stuff I got first. And get away with this. Here is uh, some uh, double uh, sided uh, tape, which come, uh, will come useful. And a pack of uh, 6 volts regulators. So, some connectors. And uh, those I got a lot of in different sizes. Just this is uh, to connect uh, wire to wire. Then I got some um, electrical tape, one dollar each. A uh, good brand. And I got some Darling transistors, uh, 400 volts and uh, 7 amperes. Then I got a pack of 18 volt regulators and a couple of pack of self recognizing tape. It's good for isolating wires if you are afraid of getting water into them. Good for wire repairs. And out. Those are good heat shrink. With uh, some soda, you can uh, just heat them up. You can put a wire from each side in and uh, heat them up, and then you got a good connection. Then a pack of uh, capacitors. They were cheap, so why not? And then I got two boxes of um, more of electrical tape. One with uh, colors, and uh, one set of uh, with uh, black, uh, good quality tape. We are on um, sale, so uh, I save some money here. Um, some more heating wire uh, assemblers. I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, I think that's it. And uh, some soda tips for my new uh, soda station. Okay, this is a box of uh, electrical tape. And it cost about um, 20 bucks and uh, we got some color tape it's a uh, look as a, as a decent quality let's just uh, get our knife to open it and look at it And it's not that much on each roll, but I think it's a decent quality and uh, I do not know the firm completely who make it, but uh, I think it's quite good tape. And let's try some of it, how it feels. It's difficult to get off, <laughs> let's just say that. So. seems to stick pretty good and it's uh, quite uh, hard to stretch and let's look at the black tape uh, same uh, company makes it of course It's a much bigger roll and also difficult to get off. Ok, 
can stretch quite long and then breaks after a lot of force so it seems to be good tape and it's um, the specs on it and I also got some white tape for around uh, five dollars a piece yeah this seems to be a uh, Swedish produced I think it's, uh, it seems to be some kind of uh, fire resistance and I like the um, D on it It is a uh, Exutronics uh, solder, soldering station uh, LF3000. Uh, it delivers 90 watts power. Let's open it. Uh, here is the user manual. And what you should be able to see it. And let's look at the documentation. The first one is uh, in German, and I think the second one is in English. The documentation seems decent enough, but uh, uh, why not don't throw it away and just look at the, the station. Here is the handle and the hot tip, and it's a cone form. That's why I bought some uh, missile t uh, t um, tips, where it's uh, more like a screwdriver. Those are um, easier to get heat transfer with, so I will replace that. And uh, why not do it? Uh, now and you just do this and it's fast and easy to replace ah, yeah, let's wait. we can also take it apart here and that thing gets out so it's possible to change while it um, while it's hot it's hot. Okay, let's dip further down into it and then we see the station and some power cores, two different uh, inputs and we go, let's, let's pull the, the station out. And here's the foot for it and it's a um, ball. Let's try to mount it. Put the ball into the foot. A lot of stand. Oh, it just it just came came out when you pull that right there. And you just uh, press fit it down and stay there. It has uh, rubber feet, so that's a good thing. And we pull this thing out, it's quite heavy. It will be with the transformer inside it. And just uh, let's just power it up. There it is. Yes. You just mount it, it's easy to mount inside. Okay, let's power it up. And it's um, racing uh, quite fast. It's a uh, hundred degrees. Let's try to pull it up. And uh, makes a, it does make noise when it's. Um, 
by the transformers. I've set the soldering station to 360 degrees, so let's try to solder this piece of wire, which is quite thick. Uh, yeah. When you solder, it's always a good idea to give extra flux, even though I use some um, pretty good uh, soldering. Solder wire, and let's try to see how fast it gonna. And uh, I clean the tip before use. Always do that. And um, pre-solder the tip again after cleaning it, and just press the. And we wait some time. There's no way I could uh, solder this with my old uh, station, which only have uh, 40 watts, joules a second. And it's not the best uh, to... I could raise the temperature so it got, got, was a bit faster to solder, but after some time it's uh, actually do it quite well. I ended up uh, with changing the temperature uh, to 420 degrees, which uh, helped a bit. So that I should have done before. Here I got my old uh, soldering station, and uh, I will continue to use it. But uh, it has no way of uh, transferring that much heat that uh, the, my new one uh, can. It has no, uh, almost nothing, a thermal capacity in that tip the way of the construction and this is uh, only good for small uh, uh, soldering small stuff as uh, but this is better to to transfer more heat because more than twice that power the old one has and uh, I got a bigger much bigger tip for it and I also got the small tip for SMD and stuff so I think it's pretty good uh, buy but it cost me and I think it's quite decent there's um, not that much uh, different in limbs. Uh, this is a bit bigger, but this is more heavy. And the wire quality seems to be okay. I'm not certain whether it is uh, fire resistance, but if any of you know, please uh, uh, write it in the comments. This is the first uh, YouTube video I've done myself and uh, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you don't, please comment, uh, use the comment section and tell me why or what I could do better next time. i see you. Um, and thanks for watching.